everybody. how my shit works real quick <laughs> damn hello up what's up guys and gals and welcome back to a division 2 build bonding experience hope you all are having a fantastic day thank you all so much for the love and support that you have shown uh, my channel as of late very much appreciated I am very blessed and when it comes to the Chupa Cabra build thank you guys so much I know that the true patriot was uh, a little wonky a little bugged but when it is fixed and it also has stated that it will be fixed soon that it will make that build even stronger but i've heard your comments in the comment section of that video so i bring you the chupacabra 2.0 and no we are not utilizing two piece true patriot um, because since it is bugged then we're going to go a different route but this build will have sustainability, as you've seen in the video, but actually hits like a ton of bricks, like a freaking Mack truck. And not only that, it is very sustainable, because it's not all about how much armor or health you can necessarily stack on. It's about how much armor and health you can sustain and actually uh, build upon. And so in this case, we are utilizing the Bloodsucker. And if you don't know what Bloodsucker is... Depleting an enemy's armor adds a stack of 20% bonus armor for 20 seconds. So, with my current armor, with 5 stacks, then that would put me well over 430,000 K armor. And as you've seen in the video clips, once that armor is taken off, there's a plethora of NPCs around, especially when you're trying to PvP. They're basically a PvP deterrent. It is easy to get a couple of stacks and then engage other players and also gain stacks upon them. And just like in the uh, previous, when I got uh, L, thank you so much L for helping me out. If they only have one block of armor, you take it off. That gives you that 20% bonus armor. And then let's say they drop heals at their feet by way of Ken Launcher or a Hive and they get a couple of bars of armor back and you immediately take it right back off. Then that is going to proc that Bloodsucker again and again and again 
So they can sit there in the hills because all it's going to do is make you more tankier, tankier, and tankier and make you be able to absorb more and more damage and punishment for when you do absolutely just go up on them and then completely wipe them out. And not only as far as that helps build your armor, the safeguard accompanied with patience is going to help you sustain that armor. Because no matter how far down your armor is, once you have those stacks on there, and such as you go into cover, and patience is giving you that 5%, those stacks still remain on you for 20 second duration. So that way you can either utilize those stacks to retreat and to fall back into cover, so that way you can fully heal up what your base armor is, or you can use it to continually to push, depending on how weak uh, your opponent is, so that way you can hurry up and finish them off. But if you don't want more, then you can also switch it out and go with the talent braced on your knee pads, which is while in cover, weapon handling is increased by 25%. So basically, utilizing braced along with one uh, yaw gear, which gives you 10% weapon handling, you're nullifying the unhinged talents that are on your LMGs. It makes it non-existent. And then by utilizing an Araldi Holdings, you gain the 10% accuracy, and then plus all your mods and so on and so forth. Basically, you can just shoot like a straight laser. But let's go over each individual piece and the weapons as followed, and so that way you'll get even a more uh, and better understanding of what I'm talking about. So let's start with the weapons. We have the military MK46, 27.2K base with unhinged allegro and then everlasting while holstered and then cover this weapon generates two percent ammo every five seconds which is really not that great the attachments we have accuracy in the optics rate of fire and by way of ammunition belt and then under the under barrel we have 10 percent stability and then in the muzzle slot we have another 20 percent stability and then minus 10 percent optimal range Moving on to the secondary weapon is a M249B, 21.5k base damage with unhinged Allegro and of course rooted. While equipped and in cover, all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% for 10 seconds. Buff is lost when exiting cover and can occur once per 25 seconds. And also in the mods, basically the same thing as the other, um, rate of fire, accuracy, and some stability because we can actually put on a little more stability uh, because we are getting 10% accuracy and then a plus the yaw gear and also all the other uh, talents. Basically makes the unhinged negative 35% weapon on you get nullified and actually you are uh, in the positive of that while in cover. So it works out really, really well. And then along when it comes to you know your healing, um, that 25% accompanied with the safeguard and patience and then of course the bloodsucker, you kind of get where this is going. It makes you almost uh, impenetrable when it comes to armor. Yes, I mean, the way the current division is set up, it, it is easily to you know get shredded either by NPCs. But while you're in cover and you're gaining all this health, especially by you know way of patience, and if your teammates have a high bow or you're dropping you know from your chem launcher, you know basically you're sitting there stacking uh armor repair and health repeatedly and it makes you an absolute utter literal tank so let's look at the more or less the damage output of things starting with the mask we have nine percent cooldown reduction 29 58 health and then of course a little 15 percent damage to elites by way of hard hitting because in the dark zone you don't really need that much uh, damage to elites because you can shred npc with just as little as 15 uh, percent damage to elites on nothing in the mod slot onto the chess piece this was the most viable chess piece that i had because it only had one offense on it and then it had two defensive and which i absolutely needed uh so it worked out really really well now if i was able to and didn't want to use other talents then i could easily go with this so uh, fenris a and b group as you can see it has three offenses on it and then it has an additional hard hitting and i would typically use that if i wasn't using compensated on my gloves but we'll get to that in a moment. But back to the chest piece. We got 6.5% weapon damage, 219 skill power, 8,130 health, and 64.75 bonus armor. And of course, Bloodsucker. And then we in the mod slot, we have Defensive Mod, by the way, of 25-24 bonus armor, 2.5% total armor, and then 4% protection from elites. 
onto the holster. Uh, it's in a Raleigh Holdings holster. We get 10% accuracy from that. The attributes are 15,363 health and of course the talent filler up. Reloading from empty reloads all weapons so it really, really is a lot viable. We don't have anything in the offensive mod slot because if we do, then we would lose the compensated. On to the backpack. It is a Petrov Defense Group backpack, and for having that one piece, we gain 10% LMG damage. The attributes on it are 12% cooldown reduction, 149 skill power, 2% weapon damage, and then 54-22 bonus armor, and then we have Hardened and Safeguard in the talent slots. Now on to the gloves. It is a Murakami Industries gloves. For one piece, you get 8% health. Its attributes are 2496 health and 5% rifle damage. That rifle damage will be re-rolled for LMG damage. It is currently, as of the making of this uh, build, after trying to find everything and then try to get it as close to near perfect as possible, I uh, actually don't have the resources to uh, re-roll that rifle damage into something else. Uh, basically, I just go out there and I can gotta get some um, uh, so some ceramics, basically, and then you know that will be re-rolled through LMG damage, because we are utilizing, of course, the two double LMGs. So that will make our weapons even more stronger. I think that there is a maybe a certain cap on certain ones, so anywhere between four to six percent LMG damage instead of the rifle damage here, and of course no mods, and then of course on to the knee pads. It's a Fenris Group A and B. Um, basically we are utilizing it because it has able to have two talents on it by way of hard hitting and patience and then its attributes are 7710 bonus armor but like I said if you would want uh, things such as braced and want to utilize it while you're in cover more instead of the out in the open or hip firing like you've seen in uh, see me do because the hip fire is just right straight OP especially on console it's like they're a deer in headlights and they don't really know how to react or what to do with it so yeah, it's definitely OP. But if you're more of a sit and cover shoot kind of person, then you want to utilize those knee pads here with braced. So while in cover, this is what the recticles actually uh, will snap to and look like. As you can see, they, they really get really small and it'll be easy. And if you look at my health, once the armor is off, you can see that um, bloodsucker actually taking an effect. So it is very, very much viable. And that pretty much essentially puts me at over 430k armor just by stacking those procs by way of NPC or as you see in the video by players. So here's a quick re tweak it as you see fit. And let me reiterate that this is more or less for the normalized and the occupied dark zone. If you want to be a little more tanky, then by all means, you might have better pieces. If you want a little more damage to the elite, elites, then you can tweak as you see fit. Um, this, as a currently as you see on the screen, is more about sustainability and fortification of your armor. Um, because you have these three main things working together, such as the Bloodsucker, Safeguard, and Patience. But if you prefer more accuracy, stability, and a lot more, I should say, I guess, beamage, then by all means switch out the knee pads or anything that has uh, braced on it and gain that additional 25% uh, handling while you're in cover. So like I said, that nullifies the negative effects of unhinged. But tweak it to your play style. But the, the synergy between safeguard, bloodsucker, and patience is really, really nice. And since we're utilizing the double LMGs, you definitely want filler up. And of course, since uh, we are so low when it comes to crit chance, we're going off base raw damage when it comes to LMGs, then top compensated does come in really nice. And like I said, once I you know get the funds, I will reroll rifle damage to LMG damage. Here's a look at my character sheets. So that way you can pause it, go over it, fine tune it, whatever you need to do. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Ground and pound that like and subscribe button. And we'll see you fudging later.